what's up guys, Alex here, thank you for checking this video and welcome to another episode about Laravel. In this tutorial we're gonna focus a lot more on our front end and we're gonna implement a utility first framework that is gonna help us a lot during our development process. This episode is brought to you by SkySilk. If you're looking for a powerful, reliable and affordable VPS in the cloud, SkySilk.com is the answer for you. Look no further for amazing, powerful cloud computing machine starting as low as $1 per month. Click the link in the description below to learn more. So this is the current status of our application and it's super ugly and if you remember we did some uh, uh, custom pages just to have fun and handle the different pages and different routes and see how the controller works. So all this stuff is kind of like useless but not really useless. We're gonna destroy everything and we're gonna actually start coding our front end properly to handle the forum that we wanna build during these tutorials. In order to do that and in order to not deal too much with CSS, we're gonna use Tailwind CSS, which is a utility first CSS framework for rapid UI development. Yes, I'm reading exactly here. You can use whatever you want. You can use Bootstrap, Bulma, Foundation, whatever. It's pretty standard, but I really like this because it's really straightforward. It helps me a lot. The approach is really modular and it speeds up a lot the development process. So let's take a look on how to install it and set it up in Laravel. If we click on learn more in the installation, of course, you could potentially include the CDN, but who does that? Let's install it via npm and save the dev dependencies. So let's copy npm install Tailwind CSS. Let's open our terminal on the base root directory. Let's paste it here and let's wait for Tailwind to be installed in our node modules folder. Perfect. After doing this, let's continue to follow the documentation. We need to generate an init file in order to actually handle our Tailwind installation. So let's copy paste the node modules being Tailwind init. Perfect. The Tailwind.js was created. So let's take a look at what was generating our base directory here. We have the Tailwind.js file. And this file can be frightening a little bit. It can be kind of confusing because Basically, it's like managing CSS in JavaScript. I know it sounds a little bit insane, but it's actually pretty phenomenal. So the only thing that Tailwind does, or that the main thing that Tailwind does, it defines all these variables. For example, it defines the colors variable, the fonts variable, uh, the text size variable, the font weights. And then when we generate our code, it spits out the CSS for us that we can use in a modular way. So let's implement it in our system. First, let's copy the example file that it's here in the documentation and let's paste it in our base style.scss file. So inside the resources, sass, we can have app.scss. Let's remove all these things and let's paste. This file, basically what it does, it incorporates all the partials and libraries of Tailwind in order to generate our file. So now we save it and we open our terminal and we try to npm run watch just to trigger the Laravel mix and watch for all our file, we're gonna have an error because actually by default, Laravel mix cannot handle post CSS or cannot handle specifically Tailwind in order to compile what we're asking here. So in order to make it work, we need to tweak a little bit, just slightly our webpack.mix.js. And this is a really straightforward. We don't have to do anything crazy. The main thing that we should do, we should actually search for Laravel mix Tailwind CSS. And there's a really amazing GitHub repository that Jeffrey Way created with this really handy utility that we can install. And instead of setting up a super crazy webpack configuration, we can simply literally just require the Laravel mix Tailwind and incorporate it here directly. And it's gonna take care of everything. So let's do it. npm install. In our terminal, let's interrupt the watch. MTM install Laravel Mix Tailwind and save it in the dev dependencies. And while this is installing, let's copy also these require the Laravel Mix Tailwind in our webpack just right after the require Laravel Mix. And then here, right after the SESS declaration of compiling of our Laravel Mix, let's concatenate with a period the Tailwind extension. Save it. Let's see if our terminal completed. Perfect. 
Let's run once again npm run watch. Everything was properly compiled. We have our CSS ready. So if we open our website once again and we refresh, uh, we won't see any change. Mostly the entire style will be reset. So we can start with a blank canvas. We don't have any styling applied to the input fields or anything else, but our CSS now it's there. So if we open, for example, the inspector, and if we check here, and uh, we wanna write something, for example, if we want these to have a background black, let's say BG black, and I want the text to be white, I can write text white, and I wanna give it a padding of two REM relative emphasis, so I can say padding two. There you go. Everything it's super modular. We have all these utility classes that we can use to edit this. And I strongly suggest you to check the uh, documentation of Tailwind, which you can find the link in the description below, because it's really great and it helps you understand how you can quickly set up your Tailwind file, customize it, use the default values, and have access to a lot of utilities that will speed up your development process. For example, the container display floats, you can use Flexbox, we can use some specific background, border color, you can edit any CSS. So this is really great. So that's pretty much it for this lesson. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give it a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel. And until the next one, as usual, happy coding.